Hi, this is Natty Rides from here from SBR Picks. West Brom host Aston Villa on Saturday. Uh, West Brom have had a poor run, whilst Aston Villa haven't lost a match in their last five played. So why then is West Brom favoured to win? Well, Lee Phelps joins us now to run through this match from a betting perspective. Now, Lee, I'm confused here. Uh, West Brom are favoured, priced 2.15, the draw 3.4, uh, um, and then Aston Villa, who come from two consecutive wins and three draws, are the underdogs, priced 3.8. Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> I've got no idea. Um, I mean, I, I guess, you know, I guess the, the traders will be thinking that, uh, you know, the Villa run doesn't go on forever and, you know, maybe they, they haven't been playing quite as well as the results, you know, look, I suppose. And, and maybe the West Brom run has to end sooner or later. But for me, you know, West Brom aren't scoring enough goals at the moment. You know, Sado Berahino has really dried up. Now, they're saying that Brown a day has scored, you know, in midweek in the reserves and maybe close to coming back. But, you know, the manager hasn't really, you know, fancied him all season long. So why suddenly will he come into the team and be such a good player? I think Villa are gaining confidence. You know, we, we caught them right. We, you know, we called a couple of draws. Um, I think we missed maybe one. The Burnley game, I think I went for the win and, and they ended up drawing. But since then, they've obviously, you know, won back-to-back -back games and are starting to play a little, you know, a little better. They've got Benteke back in the team. Um, you know, that, to me, this is a little, little like the West Ham game. You know, I like Villa. Probably not quite as much as West Ham, but I like Villa. Mm -hmm. um, anyone who's not quite as sure, would, would, I'd advise playing Villa and the draw. Yep. At least you've got two results on your side there. And, and there have been two draws between these two sides in, in uh, two of the last three games between them. It's a, it's a pretty feisty derby, this one, you know. It's one of the big, uh, big Midlands derbies in the Premier League. It um, is, so I think yeah. it'll be quite feisty. Uh -huh, yeah, and but last meeting just over a year ago ended four three. I think that kind of really highlights the kind of like the feistiness of it. What can we expect similar here, or is it going maybe going to be a little less low, little less on the goals front? Well, I mean, my initial thoughts would be that it would be low on the goals, but you know, last weekend I went for Aston Villa versus Leicester, and I thought that would be over on the goals because Leicester are starting to gain in confidence. It's part of that. 4-3. There have been 17 goals between these two sides in the last four head-to-heads, so a couple of 2-2 two -two draws in there as well. So, you know, it, it usually provides goals. I don't really see any reason why it wouldn't this time. I think, you know, form tends to go out the window a little. You know, maybe they'll both be up for scoring a few goals. Um, Aston Villa, I think they'll let West Brom have the ball. I think they'll try and use the counter-attacking skills a little, a little more. Agbon Lahore has been in good form. Feynman's in good form. As we said, Ben Teke. I mean, Ben Teke, how he didn't score at the weekend, I'll, I've got no idea. You know, the keeper was in fantastic form and he should have scored himself. So I think there will be goals. I mean, maybe not a 4-3, but I could definitely see over 2.5 here. And maybe stretched to over 3.5, but um, over 2.5 would, would be the safer bet, obviously. Uh-huh, yeah. What is the, the best uh, best play for this match, Lee? Well, I like Benteke to score any time, I must admit. I mean, I do like Villa, but I'm, 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 not, I'm not overly confident on them. You know, it's not like kind of... The, the price... The price is good, but it doesn't quite do quite enough for me, just because I'm not sure of Villa yet. I am, I do think they're gaining in confidence, but I'm not totally sure. So uh, for me, I mean, you look at the prices on Christian Benteke, I think he's a great price to score a goal. He's a similar price to Sado Berahino, who's, whose goals have really dried up. He's, he's in trouble off the pitch at the moment. He, he was arrested for drink driving, and you know, that's, that's still bubbling along. So I think that's really affected his form. Ever since the England call-up, actually, he's, he's, he's gone off the boil. Uh, probably because of that off the pitch as well. A lot to deal with for a young man. Um, but Christian Benteke, none of those problems. Big, you know, good form, muscles himself around. West Brom aren't too confident at the back at the moment. So uh, for me, it'll just be Christian Benteke to score any time in the game. Fantastic. Lee Phelps from William Hills in Play Radio. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round, a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.